I always had a piano and I couldn't imagine myself living without one. Something mental, I have to do it. My name is Ofer. I'm working as a mechanical engineer and I'm a maker, musician, originally from Israel. I live in Berlin already five years. My mother's side comes from Iraq and my dad's side side comes from Czechoslovakia. Yeah, that's, that's a combination. People ask me how, how does it work together that I, I see myself as a musician, but I work as a mechanical engineer. And I, I, I don't know, I see it very well together. At some points, I, I even managed to, to put this together. I designed a violin and I printed, I designed this. Um, pedal board for playing pipe organ. I just love to build and see it works. It's, it's something so in me that I, can, I don't know how to explain it. As a kid I played and listened mostly to classical music, but at some point I discovered Israeli music, which I find beautiful. When you think about Israeli or Jewish Israeli music and you think about klezmer, but I didn't grow up with klezmer music. I discovered it a bit later. From time to time I produce tutorials for klezmer music. People also expected from me because I'm Israeli to play klezmer and I knew that it will be valuable for other people. I moved to Berlin five years ago in May. Then I found an apartment in Schöneberg. The Nollendorf Platz is known for, for being a gay neighborhood and it just suits me. I don't think people know that I'm Israeli here or Jewish. It's not something that I hide, but uh, it was maybe easier for me to blend in because I'm totally not religious. The topic of Israel in Germany, it's especially complicated because it's also an internal topic, like within the politic of Germany. It happened to me that people who found out that I'm Israeli, they are actually super more nice than they would be to other people. And the way they react to, to the fact that I'm from Israel is more about them than it's about me. Although my mom's family comes from Iraq and my dad's family comes from East Europe, I was never exposed to, to these types of music. In Israel, it's more, it goes more about Israel music and classical music. And here I met Ali, nowadays my best friend, which happens to be from Iran, which probably would never happen if I was in Israel. And of course, to, to travel to, to places where Persian music is played to Iran, it wouldn't be possible for me. Together we play music from all around the world. He introduced me to Arabic music. And from the beginning, every week we play together in a bar on the streets. And at some point we realized that we want to have our own place. And then it happened that we joined forces and decided to, to look for a place together. Every weekend for the last year, I go to Bahnhof Leisnig. Of course, there is a bad stereotype of people from East Germany. Yeah, also uh, very right wing or not, but that's not our experience at all. From day one, people just came and asked, how can I help? And it was amazing to see. It was, we couldn't believe it. We had a clear vision when we bought the place. The vision is that it will be a place for, for music, for people from Leisnig and people around and international people to come here to experience togetherness. Especially me and Ali, we don't come from Germany. We lack a sense of home here. 
And now with this group, with this community that, that people are playing together, we make Leisnik our home. People from different backgrounds can communicate on a, on a musical level and definitely it's, it's, it's a strong connection and it's greater than any differences that might appear afterwards or beforehand because of uh, different origins. In some ways, in Lysing, we already changed some worlds of some people. People start to understand, ah, actually we are pretty similar, we like the same stuff. And then any disagreement about ideas, about political parties, it's much easier to, to solve. It's all together, it's harmony, we need harmony. Yeah, there's too much disharmony. I came here, I didn't have any friends, and I thought, oh, that was my biggest fear. Now I know that being a musician, it's a, such an advantage. Through music I can build my new home wherever I want. <laughs>